July 2, 2023. Ukraine war, nine years and five months since the invasion of Crimea. Day 493 of Special Putin's operations. Big picture. Much has happened but little can be said as Ukraine continues to destroy occupying forces on its land. It's getting towards hot and it is humid. A lovely day to be outside in most of Ukraine. Russian troops are pleading to the public for drone equipment to counter Ukraine's capabilities and have initiated programs imitating Ukraine's training and units. Offences by each army generally continue to trend as Kremlin forces attacking in the north in Luhansk and Ukrainian forces attacking in the south in Zaporizhzhia and Donetsk. Dnieper line. Shelling was notably reduced, though a handful of artillery duels have been reported in the last 12 hours. Zaporizhia front. Shelling here has also been notably reduced. At the village of Piatakatki both sides are reported to be conducting attacks. Fighting in other areas has been reported, but no results or further information has shown line changes. East Front, Donetsk. This area has seen the greatest amount of artillery exchanges in the last 12 hours. Bakhmut area. Shelling by both sides ongoing. It appears that Ukraine has reduced their attacks around this city in the last 12 hours. Oskol border front. The Kremlin has shifted the majority of their shelling to this area over the last 12 hours. Fighting in the forests north of the Donetsk and southwest of Kuzmine continue. Northern border. At Belgorod Oblast Moscow has ordered the shelling of a large number of Ukrainian forces in the last 12 hours. Black Sea. According to Ukraine's Southern Command, quote, two surface-to-surface -surface missile carriers remain on combat duty with a total of up to 16 calibers, end quote. Ukraine World Related. Wagner forces in Belarus may soon have camps capable of holding up to 65,000 troops if recruiting allows. The French AMX-10 light tank is struggling to find a role in Ukraine and the Ministry of Defense is currently discussing and studying appropriate use for the units remaining. Ukraine and Slovakia have agreed to jointly develop a 155mm self-propelled artillery unit. We aim to bring more. Like and subscribe.